Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Mama Misty's Real Kitchen. We're doing a live today. You'll be cooking with me in my kitchen. And here we are as normal. Um, again, this is just a simple recipe of stuffed cabbage I thought I would share with you today. And we're going to use ground turkey. So, I'm going to shut this window a little bit. You don't need to hear all the neighbors and vehicles running back and forth. But So yeah, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's having a great weekend here in New England. It's actually pretty warm today. It's a nice weekend. Um, but we're going to get started. So, I don't know how many have made stuffed cabbage before, but stuffed cabbage, it sounds gross when people hear the word cabbage. They're like, ugh, that's gross. Um, cabbage can be gross, I guess, if you don't like it, but if you cook it right, like who, corned beef and cabbage. I make that and it's great. Like it depends on what you put in it. If you don't like cabbage, but you season things right that are accompanying it, it's gonna be, you're gonna love it. You're gonna change your mind about the word cabbage. Cause yeah, it's it's got a bad rap and it's not fair. <laughs> so yeah, so here we are today. I have, I use, so I'm, I'm, I cheated today. I do have jasmine rice, but I am using a boxed Spanish rice because I'm gonna make um, this taco style, like Mexican style flavors, um, not usually, Italian traditional with red sauce. We're gonna do um, ground turkey with Spanish rice mixture. Um, I love Goya products. This isn't promoted by Goya. I just I dig their products. They're they're really good. Um, they make like actually a vegan rice that my granddaughter loves. When we make burritos or tacos, we have our little taco spread for her birthday. We actually did like a taco burrito buffet style and she was in heaven we made that rice and we made little pockets and she could walk around she ate the whole thing she loves it but yeah i just dig their products boy it makes a lot of good stuff so here right now what i got going on uh let's give you the gist of what what we're doing uh spanish rice is simmering right now i'm gonna i doctor everything and those of you who follow me are probably saying, yeah, that's that's how she rolls. Um, I'm shutting this off. It's just going to sit and chill, get nice and tender. Don't overboil your rice. It's either going to burn on your bottom. It's going to absorb all the water, so your rice is going to be rock hard. But you, the simmering part with it covered, important, important, important. That steam is your best friend. Unless your body parts are over it, steam can burn you like nobody's business. Quick tip. Uh, not that you asked for it, but Mama Misty is going to teach you some safety rules every time. Okay, anyway, so ground turkey. Why ground turkey, you ask? Because beef has this greasy buddy that kind of hangs around when you cook it. Beef is good for certain things. It tenderizes, the fat in it is obviously more fat content than turkey or ground chicken. Um, that's why it's, it's good for meatloafs. You use it as part of your meatloaf mixture, or even meatballs, because you want that fat. This, however, stuffed cabbages, not so much. Cause you've got plenty going on. You don't need that extra lard. You don't need it. So we are using ground turkey. I am going to cook this. And when I'm done cooking this, you are going to see what little grease there is at the end. I'll be using my grease collectors, my collection of jars that I have used, but I wash out to use for purposes just like this because I can throw them away and I don't care. Glass and plastic are recycled. So in my kitchen, I try to be smart. I try to use everything I can um, and make it as affordable as I can. Sometimes, as you see, some of my dishes are kind of uh, a little swankier than normal, 
but that's just because I either saw an amazing deal on uh, tuna or like last week I made filet, please, filet for $19 a pound and it was beautiful from the butcher. How can you pass that up? And I don't make it every day, so I had to, you know, just a little bit. Um, when I see good deals at, on shrimp or um, swordfish, I'm dying to make swordfish. I love my seafood. My husband does not. My kids like seafood. Um, but yeah, my husband's not a seafood fan. He will on occasion certain things and he will try. He loves crab though. I got him into crab. Crab is one of my favorites and he, he digs it now. He likes it. All right. I'm my uh, turkey sizzling, but yeah. So welcome, welcome to Mom Misty's Real Kitchen. We'll be making some stuffed cabbage today. All right, so let's get cooking with me. Um, all right, so here we go. We have, actually, I'm gonna get another spoon. So I'll be in and out. You're with me for a hot minute, enjoying Mama Misty's Real Kitchen, Real Action, Real Cooking. Everything I do is real. There's no editing. Usually something breaks or drops something or burns something. You never know. But it's all in good fun. This, however, what I'm going to do right now, as I'm cooking this turkey, I want to just add a little bit of love to it. Um, I also, so I have my cabbage. This. So I'm so excited, everybody. I'm so excited. I'm going to make my own, like, well, not my own. Let's take that back. I'm going to concoct my own. And as I said, concoct, and those of you, I, I have a, an issue with pronouncing things properly. And my husband has a list of Misty's words, so just bear with me. You can laugh away, though. I can laugh at myself. It's all good. Uh, taco sauce. I'm going to use taco sauce, but I had a brainstorm. I instead, I was going to mix some of this with the rice. I'll show you. Mm. So it's diced tomatoes with fire roasted hatch chilies. Like how good is that? So I'm going to put some of these in with my taco sauce, which is what I'm going to top the stuffed cabbage with. Yum. Sounds so good. This is what happens to me in the kitchen. I think of stuff like as I'm cooking and it just comes to me and usually nine times out of ten it's really good I have done some really things that some things that yeah they weren't good I had to throw them away but not very often my records pretty good not very often like a 4.85 stars right now that's how much I've had to throw away so I'm, I'm in good shape yeah so I'm doing this with you guys because normally, so I've made stuffed cabbage, be cabbage before, but normally I do the Italian way. I do Italian sauce and I do like a, um, a different style of rice, like just a plain white rice with herbs and tomatoes or similar to a pilaf or something. But this is going to be Spanish rice. This is how kind of similar to my stuffed peppers, I guess you could say. If any of you have seen my stuffed pepper recipes, it's very similar. Um, so yeah, but right now as I'm cooking this ground turkey, it's not, it's almost like not grease that comes from turkey when you cook it. Any of you who have used ground turkey or ground chicken know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not, it's grease, obviously it's fat, but it's just different. It's, it's really different. It's not as thick as beef fat. Um, so yeah, that's the one thing where I used to work. I, I'm a Crisco fan. I make my crust Crisco, chocolate chip cookies, Crisco. That's how I was raised. Most of us 40 and above. That's how we were raised. Crisco is necessary hits. I'll show you. I am just like, this is Crisco. I have some, yes. We've grown up on Crisco. This, 
are these new Crisco sticks, which it's just like a stick of butter. Like, look, it has the measurements on it and everything. Oh, yes, thank you. Making my life easy. Appreciate it. Yeah, so Crisco is a necessity. Hence, we're not using it today, but I do want to make some um, cookies. But yeah, I got to do a cookie episode, I think. Make some cookies. All right, so what my object, yeah, ob objective, see, I told you I can't talk. Um, today is for the meat. I want to like try to get it as small pieces as I can because I'm going to mix it with the rice anyway. So I don't want like these hunking pieces of turkey. So when you take a bite, you get this half bite of turkey and no rice in it. That's no good. You don't want that. So I'm just trying to chop it up really small. But it just takes time. So thanks for your patience, everyone. Again, this is live. I'm just hanging out with y'all. I sound Southern. I'm not Southern. With all of you. There we go. Hanging out with all of you tonight. My Saturday night, go figure. Because I, um, during the week, last Saturday I actually worked at my job. Um, so, all right, this is looking nice and tiny. I love it. I'll show you in a hot minute. It's, it's good because you don't, like I said, you don't want big pieces of chunks of turkey. All right. Yes. Okay, I'm going to shut this off. And I do, oh, so I have my water boiling as we're doing all this craziness because um, I want to take some lemon leaves off and peel them. All right. See how tiny, 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 tiny. I'm going to let this sit because we are going to add some rice to this. But I want to, like there's not much grease in there but I want to strain it anyway because I don't want to eat that. We don't want that in our in our um I might turn you guys so you can see what I'm doing. I'm weird. I really am weird. Alright. Hi. So yeah I'm turning you guys just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Don't mind my messy kitchen. Yeah so I utilize I recycle have my own little thing going on here so we are just gonna strain out this turkey a little bit I didn't take keep the cover on it's not a lot the the amount of grease that's gonna come out of this is minimal 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 it's not like beef and you know what once you get this all put together and said and done you're not even gonna know the difference between turkey or beef and on the bright side it's better for you all right look at that see voila look see that's it that is not a lot of grease we're gonna let that chill there for a minute and we're back yeah we're gonna let that chill out because i want every ounce of grease taken off that and we're back to the stove. All right. So we have our pan that I cooked the, the turkey in. Um, and this is our rice. I'm keeping the cover on because I'm steaming it. I want it to get tender and yummy. But we're going to swap out some pans here so you can see what I'm doing. I just want to put this burner on. I'm going to move this pan for one second. And then we're going to grab this pan. It's like uh, musical burners over here. If I don't singe or burn my hair. Has anyone singed or burnt their hair in the kitchen? I have. If you spend as much time in the kitchen as I do, you're going to singe or burn your hair. Um, although I have my hair up so much. When you work in the industry and you have your hair up day in, day out, constantly... You have to spend time with your hair down because if you don't, you're going to get headaches every day, every day. 
and I tried cutting my hair short one time to try to alleviate that problem. Yeah, never again. Never again. It did not look good. Some of us do not look good with short hair. Yeah, no, I, I have scars. Yeah, I wear my hair up too, but I, I've had such a bad sinus headache. It's awful. If you guys can relate, we live in New England, so the seasons change like crazy. And I have my hair up 99% of the time. Where I work, my hair gets stuck in machinery and whatnot. Um, yeah, the short haircut, it's not for all of us. Just saying. Yeah, my when I was married, I had scars on. Look, <laughs> I have had scars on my arms and my wedding dress was I had to have long sleeves. So I had like mesh sleeves. So no one would see all the scars on my arms. Yeah, it's, it comes with the territory people. It comes with the territory, but y'all feel me. I know you do. All right. So we got our water. Now we're going to tackle the cabbage leaves. So I'm going to peel off You have to be careful. Um, I did this once and yeah, it broke all the leaves on my cabbage. All of them. <laughs> I had like I had like cabbage leaves that were the size of a, like a, a piece of parchment paper in between your cheese or something like it was not pretty. But you have to peel them off. And I don't cut the core out because I want them intact. But see, it already split. But that's okay. Because you they're getting rolled anyway. It's just the hardest part, which I want to cut the end off. All right. Anyway, too busy jibber-jabbering. So I'm going to cut this at the core. Just the stem of it. Because that's what's keeping all these leaves together so that way I can peel them off at the this remember those cabbage patch dolls when we were all kids <laughs> that's what I think of every time um or what was that that Ann Getty photos or whatnot she had all those babies with like cabbage leaves on their heads does anyone remember that am I that old and nobody else remembers that um but yeah they were they were the cutest my mom I'm pretty sure she um had one in the bathroom so look at see it's perfect but we're gonna poach these really quick we're not gonna boil them until they're mush so we'll do that I'm gonna take this broken one out of the way all right bear with me here everybody I gotta find the exposed oh, ones there we go. There we go. So a lot of things, this one recipe you can use for stuffed uh, peppers, stuffed tomatoes, anything. Oh, that one broke. But anything that's um, easy to turn into like a vessel. Yeah, God, even zucchini. You make a zucchini boat and put this in there. But these are cute. Like I said, these make me think of those Cabbage Patch dolls way back in the day. And... The Ann Gettys babies. Like I said, I'm probably older. But, oh my God, this is so difficult. How do I get you all? We have some small cabbage rolls with this keeps happening. Holy crap on a cracker. Jesus Christmas, I can't. 
This is hard. <laughs> I've never <laughs> had such a freaking tight, <laughs> tight packaged cabbage in my life. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. Oh my God. Holy crap. This is, this is funny. Wowie wow. All right. Sheesh. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so if you're making these, make sure you uh, fight with your cabbage early on. I am going to cut though around the root. I'll show you what I'm doing in a hot second. Okay. So I just like put a couple slices so when I grab them off, they'll hopefully come off <laughs> instead of like gluing themselves to this damn head of cabbage. Jesus. Holy crap. Alright, we'll do one more. Because I have I have a few right now. I have enough. I have enough. Okay. So this one had a cabbage too. Coleslaw. Corned beef and cabbage. Um, any boiled cabbage dinner with ham. You can do um stuffed cabbage roll-ups but you can make it you can change it up you can stuff it with anything you can make a homemade stuffing and and make cabbage rolls use it for i make dumplings i can use it for my dumplings um mixture with the pork there's so many different things you can do um all right so we're gonna this water is semi-boiling i'm gonna just add these quickly again i'm poaching them I'm not going to leave them in there. I'm going to put them in the strainer and rinse them with cold water. These ones that are torn are fine. I'm just going to make them stick to each other when I roll them up. All right. I need some I need. Just kind of trying to submerge them a little bit. My lobster pot's a little too big. I should have used it, though. Because these are going to bake in the oven also. There we go. And they're going to turn super nice bright green. If I cut the core out though, I can't, the rest of the cabbage is exposed also. And I want to use it for something else. So I figured I'd cut around it, but that didn't work out very well. At all. But yes, you can. If you're going to use the whole thing because when you cut something especially with metal it's going to brown brown part of it as we speak here we go let me get my tongs where are they i know i have them here somewhere here we go all right. Oh, they see. I haven't made stuffed cabbage in a while. My husband doesn't really like it. We have only made it once, to be honest. But look at the. See. I just don't want them to be overdone. But once they get that bright color, we'll put them in the strainer. Take them out. Cause you still want them to be a little firm so you can roll it up. I made that mistake the first time and I boiled them too much and they were like mush. So I couldn't, um, couldn't roll them up. They like fell apart. <laughs> I put too much stuffing in them and they fell apart. Yeah. So they were too, too boiled, but that's all right. We're going to put a few more in. But yes, if you want to cut the core out, you so you certainly can. Um, again, I just want to use this for something else. I'm thinking actually a corned beef and cabbage this week. So I don't want it to brown. But yeah. Thank you all for joining. I appreciate you and my followers. Again, this is my kitchen. I keep it real. 
I have worked in the restaurant business for over 20 years and I gave that up. Um, I, my father was also a cook in the Air Force and uh, I just kind of do what I do. I don't have a degree, I just have experience and just having some fun, sharing what I can. I like to be cost efficient because um, right now the cost of everything is ridiculous. It's a joke. So that's why this one cabbage for three bucks can get you a few meals, sides. So use it. Be smart when you're shopping. Yes, that's cabbage. All right. Okay. So again, welcome those who have just joined. We're just poaching some cabbage. I'm just trying to get it so it's not mushy but it's poached enough for me to roll it up. And then we're gonna mix the turkey and the rice that I made. There we go. Here, and it's so pretty. It's like that vibrant color green. The leprechaun green. Leprechauns, all right. We got a nice strainer full of cabbage. I'm just gonna put right here for now. I'm going to shut off my water. Get this out of our way. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That was like nails in a chalkboard. Oh, that was terrible. <sighs> that sound is awful. Okay, let's go back to the turkey. All right, our turkey is drained. Put that in there. See, look ground turkey, ground beef, it would have been a lot different. Less fat. Although fat's good for cooking, but just not this. This is, I don't want it. All right, so this is that rice I was telling you about that I had made. Again, I cheated and I used uh, Goya Spanish rice instead of making my own, which I do make my own, which I have a giant bag of jasmine rice. I just got, I got lazy today. And it was on sale. All right, so I have the turkey and the rice and mix it together. So this is a Spanish rice because I'm making um, a South the Border style stuffed cabbage today. Again, usually I go with the Italian style with the red sauce, but I'm not doing it today. I wanted to do a little something different. This, again, is actually similar to my recipe for stuffed peppers. Um, yeah, so we're just mixing this up. I'm going to take my poached cabbage leaves and put them aside in the sink. And then we're going to get down to the stuffing. So excited. All right. So now we have the rice mixed with the ground turkey. I am going to open up the um, roasted tomatoes that I showed you with the, the um, hatch chilies in it. But I'm not gonna use them all in this. I'm gonna use some of them in the taco sauce that I wanna make to top it. Mmm, I love it, I'm so excited. Take what you have in your cabinets too. I've made some seriously delicious dishes just going through my cabinets and my fridge. Just put your thinking cap on. Say, hmm, what could I do with this today? Okay. So here they are. I know the lighting sucks, sorry, as I'm spilling everywhere. See, real kitchen, real accidents, gotta love it. All right. <clears throat> So, I'm going to take a nice, ginormous spoonful, and then I'm going to pour the juice from these in here as well. The rest I want to use for the topping sauce, the sauce I'm going to put on the topping. Yeah, the sauce I'm going to put on top of the stuffed cabbage. I'll be okay. All right. Mix that in there. 
yummy, yummy. Because the rice that I had bought, it's uh, Goya rice, and it doesn't, you know how like some of those rices you're supposed to add a can of tomato or something? That's not this. This isn't like that. I'm just doing this for extra yumminess. All right. Our stuffing. Look at that. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's my kitchen, so I can try it. Mmm. So good. Yep. Yum. Now, a little disaster. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. See? Told ya. My brain broke for a second. I have this too. Since it's fall, um, <clears throat> I was gonna get, here's a corn, which I've done that. I've done a, um, a Mexican street corn dish with uh, corn on the cob. And then I just like char them on the grill or even on the, the gas burners. But this, I got this mixture. I found it at the grocery store. It's Mexican style corn and it's just mixed with peppers, um, bread and cream. So I'm going to strain them and then I'm going to add them to our, our stuffing. Because it's all about flavor. Flavor. The rest in there. I love corn. I don't care if it doesn't digest right and you see it the next day. Don't mean don't mean crap to me. All right. Dump that in there. Yeah. So, so far, let me give you a, a breakdown. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have about eight good sized cabbage leaves. Um, hello there. <laughs> How you doing? We got stuffed cabbage going on today. Thanks for joining everyone again. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of my lovely devoted followers. So we have about eight poached cabbage leaves and I still have enough cabbage to add to a ham dinner, a corned beef dinner, make some coleslaw, whatever you want. More meals are involved in that cabbage. It's it works. I make my pork dumplings, cabbage, it's good stuff. But I've used probably fifty cents worth of cabbage right now, and three dollars for the turkey. That can of corn was forty nine cents, and then that box of rice they were on sale today, so it was a dollar twenty nine. But if you saw the size, the legit size, like my, my pan's a good size. This is a, a good saute pan, at least 13 inches. This is going to stuff more than just those cabbage leaves. I can use this to stuff peppers, which again, my husband is not a cabbage fan. So tomorrow I'll probably end up going to buy some red rainbow peppers, usually red, orange, and green. And I'll stuff them with this and top them with some Monterey Jack cheese. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. So, all right. So this is going to be the stuffing. And this is going to be the topping. Make it a mess. All right. So what I thought was, because I'm doing, like I said, I was doing kind of a south of a border cabbage. So I'm going to start with taco sauce. And then I'm going to mix those tomatoes with it. Because I'm only using this to top the cabbage rolls. We're gonna put that in there. I'll put the rest of those tomatoes in here. And where's my spoon? Okay. 
All right, we're gonna mix this together. And this is gonna make a nice um, coating for the top when I bake them. I think, I'm not sure, maybe I'll do some with cheese and some without. All right. So that was quick and easy. Quick and easy, not much effort. Now we're gonna get a nice pan. my my disaster i have so many pans oh my god it's ridiculous when you cook it's you get so many pans and you get attached to some it's crazy there's some pans my kids i have three that can cook for the most part then my oldest for some reason can't even boil water Oh, that's a lovely comment. I love people. I know it, when I, you know, was raised, it was, if you don't have anything nice to say, maybe you shouldn't say anything at all, or just scroll on and watch somebody else play with their food in their kitchen. Amen. All right, so I have my nice pot, and we're going to not... I'm debating whether I want to put butter or cooking spray. Maybe I'll just use cooking spray today, keep it simple. Just a little bit though, and then I'm gonna, because I only have eight rolls. Let me pick up my area just a tad. Pick up some junk. Okay. Move all this aside. This is the fun part then after when you're doing playing clean up, clean up. It's not the fun part. All right. Well, hello again, everyone. Oh, thanks for joining today and watching Mama Misty's Real Kitchen. We are just making some stuffed cabbage up in here today. I grab my cabbage leaves. We're almost there. I'm going to set my oven to 325. 325. Heat. Heat's not... High heat's not good, just like high burners aren't good either. All right. So these are just vibrant and beautiful. So if they're torn, what I'm going to do is kind of just overlap the torn part so I can still roll them. That way, no waste. No waste. And if there's any pieces that I poached and they fell off little pieces, I can make like a soup out of it. All right. So I'm gonna put my stuff over here. So we're just going to make like little bowls. Again, thanks for joining Mama Misty's Real Kitchen and cooking with me today. In my kitchen, it's always a new adventure. Again, I've made stuffed cabbage once before this moment. Stuffed peppers are usually what I make. And I did uh, zucchini boats and stuff. So. Trial and error. Trial and error. But thank you for the tidbits as well. I appreciate that. Any advice on making it a little tastier is well, well received. All right. Okay. This one's being a little difficult. I'll tear off the end here for a hot minute. What do you think about adding some cheese to some of these? Actually, I'm going to tear this because I'm going to do that. There we go. All right, I'm going to start filling them. So I'm really just taking probably, I'm going to say about three to four tablespoons of the stuffing. And we are going to roll. Some of these are big. There we go. If 
beautiful. There's one. Nice. Yeah, so I'm trying to think. I could even put this in stuffed mushrooms also. That'd be yummy. I love mushrooms. I usually use a, like a stuffing for mushrooms, but this would go really good, I think. Again, it's my kitchen. All right. Some of these were ripped, so I just kind of ripped them in half to make a full cabbage leaf. There we go. It's the hood. It's falling out. There we go. Utilize the side of the pan is what I'm going to do now. Boy, this is... There we go. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> nope. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Ugh. There we go. Yum. Maybe... Maybe some like cheddar. I don't know what I have in the fridge. I'd have to look. Top it off with some cheese. Okay. My my granddaughter, I just made me think of my granddaughter saying that. She watches that Peppa Pig show. Oh my god. She starts to talk British. <laughs> she walked up to my my husband one day and she said, hello, Grandpa Pig. I was dying. <laughs> you should see his face. I said, honey, it's from the TV show. It's like, I hope she wasn't calling me a pig. <laughs> the kids say the darndest things. They're so cute. Though. They don't. Kids are innocent. Unless taught to not be. Okay. I made little ones with these little pieces. I don't want to waste anything. I'll eat it. I don't care. All right. So any ideas on what else we could stuff? I got mushrooms. I got green peppers. Um, throw some ideas out there. I'm game. Uh, I'm trying to think. Tomatoes. See, we thought of zucchini. I don't know how squash. Ooh, uh, spaghetti squash. Could use do spaghetti squash and top it the same way, couldn't you? I've made spaghetti squash parmesan before. Spaghetti squash is actually really good. I want to make. Um, I have. I finally got my pasta machine. So I want to make homemade raviolis. I made raviolis, but I didn't have the machine and my dough was so thick. It's so, it's a lot of this. It does take a toll on your shoulders um, to get your dough as thin as you want it to be. All right. So here we go. Yum. I'm excited to try that taco sauce on the top because again, I, I've made red, I use red sauces. Just keep it, go with what you know, I guess, or what you've been taught. Cause I mean, I remember my mom and there was a point in life when, you know, the 1970s, people didn't have much money and there was stuff going on just like now and uh you had chop suey for dinner almost every day and instead of beef stew it was hamburg stew or um tuna fish macaroni and peas like that was the real deal and then instead of a uh potato side you had like a garden salad because we all had gardens back then you had to save money it's just different now the whole world's different now but the cost of living alone has increased so much 
it's 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 gone way up there. God, I blanched the perfect amount of leaves for my pan. That doesn't happen very often. All right. Hey, yeah. Uh. There we go. Put those in there. That's perfect. Like I, oh wait, I have one leaf left. I don't want it to go. I'll make a tiny roll. Waste not, want not. There we go. It's a baby. It's a baby roll. Okay. Tiny, tiny. So I just made some cabbage rolls. I made a mess on my cutting board, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna do this. Let's make some rolls. Take all this out of the way. Okay. So we have our pan of rolled cabbages stuffed with some um, rice with ground turkey. And I use like a Mexican corn. Um, oh, hi. How are you? Um, I blanched them. A gentleman actually commented that you don't have to. Uh, which is very thankful tip. Thank you very much. And uh, I guess it's your choice. Do what you want to do. It's your kitchen. It's your food. You're eating it. But suggestions on making them better are always welcome. All right. So now my little concoction that we're going to top it with. It's taco sauce. We like things hot around here so it's hot taco sauce with diced tomatoes with hatch chilies fire roasted yum yeah yeah all right we're gonna top these bad boys so i need a consensus should i put some cheese on some of these on top i would love some opinion not all of them but put a little cheese sprinkle think I might have some cheddar. Like I said, look in your fridge, look in your shelves, look and see what you got. Use it. All right. Here we go. There. And it's not like super thick. That's what I like. I don't like glob of sauce on top of when I make stuff like this, the, you don't want the sauce to take away. Ooh, parm. Hmm. I have a, a, a grated parm Romano Asiago, I think. Ooh. Could do that after the fact when you pull them out. This was the perfect amount for these. Holy crap on a cracker. There we go. Okay. Ta-da! So, here we have them. I'm going to put them in the oven, and then we're going to look for some cheese. 325. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to grab some cheese. Let's see. I knew I had cheddar and someone suggested this to put on it. So I'm gonna we're gonna try this on a couple of them when we pull them out. And then I'll top them with some on some cheddar. I think cheddar would be good too. Absolutely. But yeah, so this is going to bake. I don't even know. How, I don't remember how long. I don't, Like I said, I only cooked stuffed cabbage once. So I, I can't read the rest of it. It stinks because it cuts off some of your messages. So 
someone filtered so oh, someone's saying something bad but that's okay that doesn't bother me um TikTok took care of you apparently but you can say whatever you want i have a thick skin and no it's not the first time in a kitchen i have 25 years in a professional kitchen of cra not crap food but not like culinary arts and crafts it's it's real okay it's real no paid experience you learn as you go and that's what i do um and i just share that because there's some moms that can't cook again i have a daughter who cannot even make anything without burning a pot so it's it's all good comments are welcome <coughs> good or bad i can take it i'm i'm Thick skin, they say. All right. So I'm going to move my yucky water. We don't want that now. All right. Back to cooking. So I have a little bit of this left. I am going to save it. And I'm trying to think of what else I could do just in case my husband doesn't like this stuff. cabbage. He asked me what's for dinner. I, when I told him it, he's like, you don't really make that. Because I'm not. I'm a... If you're if you follow me, you'll see what I make. Um, and this is not one of them very often. I again, I've made it once, but it's fun. It's fun sharing with people because again, I got some good tips from those of you, um, and it's just fun. I'm sharing something I'm not used to doing, uh, which shows a little bravery on my part. You can say it looks like crap all you want, but I'm on live TV just displaying my imperfections which is okay and I appreciate everyone who's joined me today watching me do this live um, I'm baking them in the oven now stuffed cabbage so we were just discussing some toppings after I pull them out because that sauce I put on top those of you who have just joined it's this Ortego's taco sauce because I made a south of the border style stuffed cabbage not Italian style with oh my I threw my can out um the roasted tomatoes with hatch chilies which sounds amazing okay I'm gonna grab that I'm gonna grab a plate actually you know what let's grab this where is it I gotta grab a plate. Be right back. Okay. So what I want to do is, sorry, picking up a mess. It's so hard to cook and not clean at the same time. My husband gets on me all the time. When I cook, I won't sit down and eat until I clear the sink sometimes. And he'll sit there and he'll wait <laughs> so patiently because he wants to eat what I just made, but I have to make sure everything's all set. Because I don't want to eat and then come back to having to do the dishes. You know, it's like, phew. Yeah, I have, I don't have stuffed cabbages, cabbage often because my Nana used to make it. Um, my, I don't know if I've ever had it from my mom. It's not something that was fluent in my house. Boiled ham dinners, though, with cabbage, you know, cabbage dinners with corned beef, things like that were very, very fluent in my household growing up. So I like to try things that my home, we didn't have them in my home. I can make pot roast dinners, ham dinners, turkey. I can bake and roast all day long because that's what mothers did back then. And now it's different. Now it's a whole different world. I've been experimenting. It's so nice. Hello, thank you for following and watching us today. Um, so I like doing that because it's giving me a little different. You know, I like to be different. I don't like doing things the same, which is why I don't go by recipes. I just kind of wing it. Whether it's right or wrong, I wing it. And again, 99% of the time it comes out better than I thought it would and everybody loves it. So you can't go wrong when I've had a house full of kids and it's, and now where all my kids are grown up, it's cool because my husband's my guinea pig and he'll try it 
whether he wants to or not. Ladies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They will, they will swallow their pride and try what you make anyway. So he's not a cabbage fan. So when he asked what he's coming home to, hey, Ohio, welcome from uh, 603 New Hampshire here. Um, he come, he'll be coming home <laughs> to cabbage. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I have some leftover stuffing because he'll just eat this right out of the container. Again, ladies, I don't know if you have a man who will just reach in the fridge and grab the container of leftover ham salad you made from the ham before the night before or a potato or macaroni salad or anything pasta he'll just eat it right away cold out of the fridge he doesn't even warm it up so i guess i'm very lucky i have an easy to please man here <laughs> but it doesn't mean i cook bad i just there are some things that aren't regimented I guess would be the right word to say regimen. Does that make sense? Hello, I think I saw Kentucky. Thank you all for following me and watching me live today. Um, I Again, I made stuffed cabbage rolls. It's not something I make all the time. I got some wonderful tips on uh, not even poaching the leaves, which that's awesome. I would assume, though, in that instance, the sauce kind of would help cook them. Hey, Washington. Welcome. Um, I will try all kinds of stuff, but my stuffed peppers, this is a good vessel for peppers. We were all discussing, so I'd love to hear, um, we're just waiting for the cabbage to bake. I got my cheeses to top, so we have time to chit chat. So ideas on what to stuff in your kitchen. I, I just like trying new things. I don't care about a recipe for it. I'll wing it. I'll figure it out. I'll make it happen. So the, here's the list so far. Stuffed cabbage rolls, stuffed mushrooms, stuffed zucchini boats, tomatoes. Hello, Wyoming. Thanks for joining bell peppers. Yeah, I love it. I get the rainbow bell peppers. So I have different flavors on top of flavor. Um, tomatoes. There's got to be, I, then I was talking about um, spaghetti squash. Maybe put in something like this, do a spaghetti squash. Then, you know, you take your fork and you scrape all the insides out and then putting a topping on there and just like this and then sprinkle some sauce and some cheese and putting that back in the oven. That sounds really good. I do have a video on spaghetti squash I have made. Um... I'm trying to think what else what else could we stuff even roll up not um I'm trying to think of leafy leafy stuff that we could bake I guess you could do something cold I mean we could wrap up something cold um is it hard this isn't hard it's just there's a lot of steps at least for me again I I'm not a pro at this. I am a home cook. I have cooked in the restaurant business, but not gourmet style. We're talking um, family diners and uh, like corporate corporate restaurants. It's different. You have specs you have to follow, which I can cook to a recipe spec, no problem but I don't like recipes here in my home. This is my kitchen and I keep it real, real, real. I am so real in this kitchen. I, I don't need a piece of paper. I just, like I said, I open my cabinets, open my fridge. And right now the cost of everything is insane. I couldn't believe it. A, a dozen eggs five dollars for a dozen eggs i'm so glad one of my friends has got chickens and she just got ducks i trade her egg cartons and even stuff that i make um for eggs five dollars for 12 eggs it's nuts who says Devin says hi oh is that my son 
Tell my son I love him. And I'm glad you enjoyed the lamb. I I had some marinated lamb that I brought to my son and he made it last week and reminded him why he loves his mom's cooking so much. <laughs> Actually, I'm very thankful all my kids. It's one thing. They always brought their friends over and even their friends loved Mama Misty's cooking. Makes your heart full, you know? It really does. 324. Wow, that's cheap. If you got eggs, 324. 4.99 here in New Hampshire for a 12 pack of eggs. It's we used to pay so even in the produce which the, I think that's the one thing that baffles me produce the price of dirt or soil didn't change but it must be the cost of the the uh you know the not chemical but the the growth the plant feeder stuff that they put in the dirt that has to have gone up because even cantaloupes used to be what two for three bucks now they're two for six one cantaloupe is three dollars and i love my melons they're so good and i can't get them even a watermelon one one watermelon is eight dollars when they used to be remember you walk by the big bin with the watermelons and they were what $2.99 for a whole those oval seeded watermelons not anymore <laughs> if times up by three it's crazy a uh, me too right cooking brings memories occasions with your family um your children you know your husband your spouses your wife anything um it creates that cherish mindset like what your nana used to make you, you my pork pie recipe is my memes which was passed to my father so my pork tortillas are, are there those are real like those are a real generational recipe that i make and those are the things that cooking can just bring to your life like she said memories perfect perfect statement I like that I like it kudos I enjoy that comment let me grab my mitt all right let's take a peek it's been how long have I been chatty Cathying it up with y'all all right I wish I was southern I love their accents oh yum Ooh, doesn't look so bad. Ooh, jalapenos, yeah. Oh my gosh, you! I have to comment on this comment. I love it. I made, um, I did make uh, stuffed jalapenos. They were huge. And my sister calls them alligator toes. So he stuffed them with bacon and like a cream cheese and then wrapped. Sorry, stuffed them with cream cheese, cheddar, and then wrap them in bacon. Great, great recipe. That's an awesome, awesome comment. Love it. Okay, so here we go. I pulled them out. Now I'm going to put them back in because I want to melt a little cheese. Not all of them, just some of them. So half of them, let's see. I got some cheddar here, mild cheddar. I'm just going to put, I wish I had Monterey Jack. What do you guys think? Cheese options. Someone said the Parmesan cheese, but I have, let me show you what I have. Where is it? I thought I opened it. Uh, oh my God, guys. Sorry for my face. I took the cap off so I couldn't see it. Woo wee. This, but this would probably be good if I had a red sauce, not taco sauce I don't know what do you think kind of yeah oh all right sprinkle sprinkle I'm gonna do some cheddar because then I want to melt this is where I'm going with that melt this on here And we're going to try a few of this for the sake of science. Why not? 
I love cheese. I don't care. I'd put a slice of American on here if I didn't have anything else. I am such a cheese lover. Cheese is when I make my homemade mac and cheese. Oh my God. So good. I made uh, my own uh, homemade mozzarella che fried cheese balls. Holy crap. They're so good. You bite it and the cheese stretches. All right, back in the oven, 325, and we just want to melt the cheese. We're not going to do anything fancy with it. See, I'm cleaning it up. Um, but yeah, we just want to melt the cheese on the top, and then we get to try it. I'm so excited. I just, I, when I thought about putting the taco sauce on top, I'm like, heck yeah. Why not? It's a southern style mixture. Well, south of the border style mixture. Um, cheese. I love cheese. Oh my God. But this stuff is so good. This mixture. Oh my God. You could even just put that. In a burrito or something. Like with some beans. I make my own black beans and refried beans too. Crowd pleaser. Oh my god. I get that's another thing. If I have a container of those in my fridge, my husband will eat the whole thing. And he's just walking to the fridge. He leaves his spoon right here every day. <laughs> There's a fork or a spoon right here because he's gone in the fridge and taken it. Now, when we had the kids at home, I would yell at him and say, stop that, that's gross, cut that crap out. But now it's just him and I, and so I don't really care. You know, my home is my home. All of our homes are our home. We do what, we, what you want in your own home. It's your roof, you know, unless it's bad, which there's, you know what I mean when I say bad. But yeah, so, we're melting cheese now on our stuffed cabbage rolls. Again, this is not something that I make all the time. Um, I did blanch my cabbage leaves and I have a mixture of uh, ground turkey. I got a can of Mexican street corn that has bell peppers in it. And then I mixed some Spanish rice. Uh, I cheated today instead of making some of my own rice mixture. I have a whole bag of jasmine rice, but Goya had this Spanish rice on sale and I had to try it. I like to try stuff too, if you've never tried something. And they make a vegan rice for my granddaughter. So I said, oh, I might as well buy two since they're on sale. And I did. Um, and then I have the diced tomatoes with hatch chilies in the mixture. I took a bite of it earlier when I was done, but I stuffed the cabbages with that. So now I have this stuffing that I can use for whatever I want. And I know my husband will come home and grab some tortilla shells and roll up and make a, a burrito bite or a something, whatever. I, I have pulled pork in my fridge. I made a uh, El Pastor crock pot pork butt. And he likes to put that. He'll just make a quick uh, taco in the morning. He'll put an egg on it. Or he'll make a roll up. Like a burrito style. And it's not really a burrito. <laughs> it's just made. <laughs> he'll just throw whatever he wants in it. In his eyes it's edible. So you know. And it's crazy I talk like that. Because he really is picky. It's just he really enjoys everything I cook. Which I'm very thankful for. Because if he didn't, he would, he wouldn't be sitting on the couch. <laughs> he, would, he would have found someone else to cook for him because he, he really doesn't complain about much that I make. And he's willing to try stuffed cabbage. There you go. He does. He's not a cabbage fan. All right, let's do this. Let's check this out. Whew. Oh my God. They're so pretty. Look at 
those. They look so pretty. All right, I need a spatula. Yum. Oh my God. So excited. Yum. I'll take a little one. And the cheese. See, I said I like cheese. It was scrolling. See, I'm going to take just a little one. But I'm going to try it with all of you. Excite it. I hope it's as good as I want it to be. But the stuffing is good, and I like cabbage, so how can you go wrong? Right? It's probably really hot, though. It's steaming. It's a lot. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The... The taco sauce with the tomatoes on top. Perfect. It came out perfect. It went perfectly with it. Oh my God. It's so good. Mmm. Yum. That taco sauce I decided to put on the top of them. Total game changer. I'm so glad I went with the taco sauce mixture instead of red sauce. It's really good. I know this wasn't like a, a gourmet, like live or anything, but that's not what I do. My followers, I appreciate every one of you. Um, you all know this is Mama Misty's Real Kitchen. Everything in my, ooh, everything in my kitchen is real including me just burning my arm on the the pan. A cook or someone earlier was commenting how they get burned. So I'm like, yep, it happens. But the taco sauce mixture on the top of these did it. it they're, it's so good. Such a compliment to it. I'm definitely going to, my husband's going to love these. His, his mind about cabbage is changing as of today. Although, he eats my corned beef and cabbage, so he's full of crap. I'm going to call him out on that, too, when he comes home. <laughs> what did I... Oh, we made stuffed cabbage today. Stuffed cabbage, and it's delicious. It's so good. Quick recap before I leave all of you today. Stuffed cabbage rolls. We filled with ground turkey. Mexican street corn with red peppers, green peppers, diced tomatoes, fire roasted with hatch chilies, and um, Spanish rice, all in one pot as a filler. Then we stuffed our blanched cabbage rolls. Then we topped with a taco sauce topping that I added some more of those diced tomatoes with hatch chilies. We spread on the top, baked that for what, about 10 minutes, folks? And then we pulled it out and layered it with cheese of choice, whatever cheese you want. I used cheddar and some of the, we changed up some of the Parmesan, but whatever you want to use. Put it back in the oven for about five more minutes and then took it out. And then I just tried it and it is amazing. So good. It, they came out great. Came out absolutely great. Thank you so much, everybody, for Joining me today in my live, we made some stuffed cabbage, uh, a new dish for some, I hope. It's a pretty new dish for me. Again, I don't make this dish often. If you follow me, you know I've made it once, and I made it once on my TikTok. So there we are. We're going to put these on chill till my husband gets home, because I, if I don't, I'm going to eat another one. And he's going to get to try them and he's going to love them. And I'll let you guys all know next time when I do a live and what we're making. And I'll report back how he liked the uh, stuffed cabbage. We are saying peace out from New England. And hope all of you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And stay, stay true to you. Stay true to you. Don't anybody else change what you got going on. It's all about you.
Goodbye from Mama Misty's Real Kitchen for now. Did I end it? No. Nope. <laughs>